Welcome to the CPSC product registry training video. This video will demonstrate how to add and manage trade parties. Please note that the CPSC product registry is in ongoing development. Features and functionality are subject to change. Adding trade parties to a business account serves as one of the recommended steps upon initial account setup for business account administrators. By doing so, Users can easily view and track applicable trade parties that will be used to complete product certificates. Establishing a record of trade parties allows users to quickly reference those trade parties during the product certificate data entry process. There are three options for adding trade parties for account administrators, but only one for collection administrators and collection editors due to access limitations within a business account. Business account administrators can add new trade parties to be applied to any product collection, whereas collection administrators and collection editors can only add and manage trade parties for the specific product collections where they hold permissions. It is the responsibility of the importer to manage their trade parties on a continuous basis and update their information as needed. They can work with their trade partners to ensure trade party information is managed effectively and that all data provided is true and accurate to the best of their knowledge. Let's begin with the first option to add a new trade party for account administrators. From the e-filing dashboard, navigate to the section labeled Trade Parties and click the Add button. In the Add New Trade Party pop-up screen, fill in the contact information for your trade party in the listed fields, including the trade party name, type, alternate ID, or GLN, address, apartment or suite number, country, state, city, zip code, phone number, and email. You must provide at least one of either an alternate ID or GLN that is unique and not already used in the product registry. Once you provide either an alternate ID or a GLN, the other will not be required. Please note that any field with an asterisk indicates a required field. Once you have filled in all applicable fields, click the Save button. Once all fields have been added correctly, your entry will be saved, and you will receive a message that lets you know that your entry has been added successfully. Upon returning to the e-filing dashboard, you will see your newly entered trade party has been added to your account. Next, let's review the second option for account administrators to add a new trade party. From the e-filing dashboard in the Trade Party section, click the Manage button. The Trade Party Management page will appear. This is where you can continuously manage trade parties by filtering by trade party type and searching for keywords. It is highly recommended that business account administrators continuously refer to this page to ensure trade party entries appear accurately. Account administrators can add trade parties from this screen as well. Click the Add New button in the top right corner. The same Add New Trade Party pop-up screen will appear to enter your trade party details. Follow the same steps as previously mentioned in this video. Once you've entered all applicable fields, select the Save button. You will receive the same confirmation message to let you know that your trade party has been added successfully. Finally, let's review the third option which allows account administrators, collection administrators, or collection editors to add a new trade party. From the e-filing dashboard, navigate to the Product Collection section. Click the product collection for which you want to add a trade party. In the top right corner, click the Trade Parties button you will automatically be taken to the Trade Party Management page. Again, this page is where account administrators and collection-specific users can continuously manage trade parties that are available to them. Next, click the Add New button. Follow the same steps as previously mentioned in this video. Once you have entered all applicable fields, select the Save button you will receive the same confirmation message to let you know that your trade party has been added successfully. This concludes our demonstration of how to add and manage trade parties in the CPSC product registry.
If you have additional questions, visit cpsc.gov forward slash e-filing or email e-filing support at cpsc.gov for assistance.